Gemini, welcome to Shacey Tarot. For those of you that are brand new and for those of you returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for your continued support. My girls and I truly appreciate it. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So this is meant as your quickie weekend vibe reading. So it's just a very quick message from the universe to you regarding your weekend. We're gonna see what's happening. Now remember, everything still happens in divine timing, but we just wanna see where the energies lie quickly for the weekend, so let's get started. So I've already gone ahead and I've meditated on your cards. We're gonna flip them over and see what's going on. I'm gonna continue reading over on Vimeo. So if, for those of you this resonates with, you can meet me there afterwards if you wish to do so for the continuation, okay? Let's get started. Ooh, whoa, way to start your reading. The Wheel of Fortune, that's fantastic. Delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck. A new car or travel. Ooh, could involve a Leo. It could be a, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or um, Aquarius. Did I say that already? I'm sorry, I don't remember. Strength. Oh, you know what? I cannot believe this. Two back-to-back -back major arcanas. This is very significant. Very strong Leo energy here, but it doesn't have to be. This can simply mean that you have a lot of strength right now while you're going through a massive change or shift in your life. Whatever that is for you, you're all going to be different. Remember, it's still a general reading. For those of you that prefer a personal reading more geared to your energy, you can definitely visit me at shacy.com, okay? Let's get going. OMG, I'm just floored. The sun. One, two, three major arcanas. What is going on, Gemini? This is massive. Leo again. You may be dealing with strong fire sign or this is you having a lot of energy and strength right now. You're pulling out all the stops. This can mean that you are going through a massive shift and you're moving towards abundance and happiness, strength, courage. There's growth in your life. Plans that are going to work out perfectly here. You may have had a lot of ideas and a lot of blessings coming. And if you don't yet, you're going to. This signifies major shift. Major arcana means major, major things going on in your life. But it's going to be positive because this is like all in the timing when the wheel shows up. Okay, wheel of fortune is just that. It's all in the timing and it, it shifts your whole world. And the universe is saying like you, you have it within you to go through whatever this massive shift is for you and once you go through that you are moving towards your sun baby and this is what we all want this is like this is like having abundance and happiness and health and this is all the things that we want and we strive for in life and the sun card trumps all the other cards in the deck meaning that you know it doesn't matter what else you get you are moving towards success happiness Whatever that means for you, it could be a job, it could be a new business you're opening up, could be a relationship, could be all of those things. The doors are opening for you, and this is fantastic. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I have no words. I have no words. I have no words. Gemini, you have life experience. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life changing event. There you go. Situation that leads to significant opportunities. This is beautiful. Four major arcanas. I don't think I've ever had that. Gemini, what's going on? I want to hear. Leave me comments. I want to hear what's going on with you. This is fantastic. So for those of you going through something massive, just know that at the end of it is going to be a rainbow and it's going to be beautiful. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Some of you may already be going through this massive shift and worrying right now, although I'm not truly seeing that. I'm just seeing that you need to let go of whatever belief systems you had before or you are learning to do that and you're overcoming whatever it is that you've been going through this is beautiful yeah see seven of winter there is a better choice not seeing things clearly running away from the truth so you know this may be the strength that you're needing right now to overcome some obstacles things that uh you know that you we're perhaps running away from decisions, choices, uh, experiences, uh, whatever it was. But you know things are changing here, and and you're keeping it. You're keeping up your strength, and the universe is recognizing it. And you are going to be rewarded with something beautiful at the end of this. I'm telling you, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, let's check out mutual energies now. If you have a love interest, this is meant for you and the common 
energy between the two of you but if you don't this is your energy okay control situation back okay so you know this is about getting your power back this is about getting your strength back you've been through a rough experience I feel here you may have been involved with somebody around you that's been dishonest possibly either you with someone else or someone else with you uh, this can be in business this can be in love it can be in both but just know that whatever you're going through was something you were meant to learn as a life experience in order to move towards change which is going to bring about the better for you you may have needed to sort of find yourself again okay or your person here this can also sometimes mean that we had a belief system in place for ourselves before to where we try to control too much and when the wheel shows up, that means that things are changing again and we have no choice but to go with that flow. And it's because you're meant to learn these life experiences and move on. And maybe you weren't seeing things before that you're seeing now. So it's kind of like, you know, you're opening up and, and you're gaining your control back and your authentic self back. Let's see what the traditional have to say. Four of Pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Um, this can also be that you know, you've been holding back, you were holding on to belief systems, okay, and maybe that's what, what wasn't working. This can also be that somebody was holding on to uh, a relationship or a job or something just strictly for stability reasons, focusing on money, materialistic items. Um, maybe you believed that that was the most important thing and you're having to let go of that, you're having to release that for whatever reason with this massive change in your life but this is you know the universe reminding us that to hold on to anything and hold the control and this may not be you it could be you the cross watcher but this is about holding on to that control and um, sometimes trying to uh, make things happen too much instead of allowing the change to occur in your life which is what is happening here you're being forced to go through this change this can be an actual journey as well, but this, whatever's happening, this is your fated destined path here when the Wheel of Fortune shows up, okay? But just know at the end of the day, it may seem rough now, but all of these experiences are happening for a reason, and it's in order to bring you to a place of prosperity, growth, happiness, success, and it's going to be awesome once you release any kind of past beliefs and stop trying to take control there again there may have been somebody dishonest around you or maybe somebody you haven't trusted this can also be somebody trying to get away with holding back either emotionally okay or they could be they call it emotional theft like maybe um they've, they've been kind of just um using you for you know um personal gain whether that's financial or whether it's emotional okay playing games it could be uh, but this can also be that somebody was trying to get away with something materialistically in your job like you know being dishonest within a job trying to get away with something this could be getting away with finances or if you're in a marriage it could be trying to get away with money or materialistic items whatever it is there's some kind of uh, emotional or um, financial theft here of some sort going off here that's what I'm feeling ten of cups it may have been in a family situation somebody may have been holding on to money holding on tight to money in a finance uh, maybe there's a codependency issue here or there was and things are gonna change here somebody's getting their control back maybe somebody in the relationship was too controlling with money that's kind of that's for some of you I'm getting that quite strongly but there's a new beginning here Somebody's letting go of that, okay? This can be that somebody had to hang on tight for money. Uh, maybe somebody was pushing money aside and not telling the other person in a marriage or relationship. Uh, that's for some of you. They were having too much control over the finances, but this is a new job or a new opportunity coming. Things are going to change here. So maybe before you and your person, if you're in a long-term family or relationship here, maybe somebody was holding on to money too tightly. Um, and maybe it's because they had to because there wasn't enough of it but there's a new opportunity here and it can be a new job a new career a uh, new business um, we're going to find out in the extended so if this is resonating for you no matter what you're moving towards success so I feel like there's a new job a new opportunity or a new love coming uh, this can also be moving towards your ten of cups somebody may have been sort of keeping somebody or something on the down low that can be another relationship okay that's for some of you 
Okay, maybe somebody was dishonest within a family relationship. We're going to have to find out. We will definitely check in the extended. I hope this is resonating for you. I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of romance angels for you. But if this is resonating for you, I will continue as I usually do over on Vimeo. And for those of you that are aware, I always do Vimeo for another plus or minus 15 minutes. But next year, starting next year, for those of you returning to me, I will continue the readings um, not on Vimeo anymore. You will get the link through my website directly. This way I can bring some savings to you. It'll be a lot cheaper for you. So let me know if you're happy about that change. I would think that, I mean, so far it's been very positive response. This way I can bring it to you for cheaper, which I think you would all really like. And so would I, definitely. Okay, for Gemini, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the love messages? Wow. Okay, they're just wanting to come out for you. What's going on, Gemini? You may be hor ho um, heading towards your whole ten of cups here okay this is you know for those of you that know me I call this my whole enchilada this is having it all and you've got the Sun here so that could be exactly what's happening here you may be sneaking off from something or someone else having the strength to go through this change and actually you may even be you know this may be somebody surprising you or vice versa that they want to offer you something stable and long term here somebody's gained their control back in their life and they're coming towards you to have this this whole enchilada with you wow that's amazing that'd be fantastic soulmate wow look at that yes this is your soulmate so there you go you may be moving towards commitment having it all this is like having the white picket fence and the family like i said the sun card abundance growth happiness so what was i saying at the end of this difficult time that perhaps you wouldn't let go of before you you make this better choice or you're coming around to making this better choice or your person is and it's going to bring you remember i said the pot of gold like at the end of the rainbow having it all true love wow we've got soulmate and true love this is a romance of a lifetime <gasps> engagement wow okay i don't think i need to say too much more do i let's head over into the continuation on vimeo of your reading okay if this resonates for you don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe it's absolutely free and it really helps our channel to grow my girls and i truly appreciate it i will meet you over on vimeo right away for those of you that are heading that way and this resonates for and for those of you leaving me now i will see you next time stay happy stay healthy stay positive stay focused for those of you that want to get in on the bracelet giveaway all of that information is down below in the description box as well as in the comments section i thank you so much until next time namaste